please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, Executing Linux Shell Commands from Python Script, a comprehensive tutorial. Introduction In many cases, Python scripts need to interact with the underlying operating system, and one powerful way to achieve this is by executing Linux shell commands. This tutorial will guide you through the process of running shell commands from a Python script, covering various methods and considerations. Prerequisites Method 1, Using the Subprocess Module the subprocess module provides a simple and versatile way to interact with the system shell. Method 2, Using Backticks While the use of backticks is not recommended for various reasons, it's worth mentioning as it's a common and straightforward way. Method 3, Using the OS module The OS module also allows running shell commands, although it's generally less flexible than subprocess. Method 4, Running Shell Scripts Executing entire shell scripts from Python is also possible. Important Considerations Security Error Handling Capturing Output Asynchronous Execution Conclusion Executing Linux shell commands from Python provides a powerful way to extend your script's capabilities. The subprocess module is recommended for its flexibility and enhanced features. Always prioritize security and error handling to create robust and reliable scripts. Chat GPT Certainly. Executing Linux shell commands from a Python script can be quite useful for automating tasks or interacting with the underlying operating system. In Python, you can use the subprocess module to achieve this. Below is a step-by-step -step tutorial with code examples. In Python, the subprocess module provides a simple and consistent interface to create and interact with additional processes. Import this module at the beginning of your script. The subprocess.run function is a convenient way to run shell commands. It takes a list of command line arguments as input. In the example above, the subprocess.run function runs the lsl command, and the result object contains information about the command execution, including the return code. If you want to capture the output of the command, you can use the subprocess.run function with the capture underscore output equals true argument. In this example, Result.stout contains the standard output of the command. You can also handle the input and output streams of a command using the subprocess.popen class. It's important to handle exceptions when executing commands to capture errors or unexpected behavior. You've now learned the basics of executing Linux shell commands from a Python script using the subprocess module. This can be extremely useful for automation, system administration, and various other tasks where interaction with the command line is necessary. ChatGPT